coriander, also known as cilantro, is a beloved herb around the world. Its fresh, zesty flavor enhances countless dishes. Traditionally, coriander is grown in soil, but did you know there's a cleaner, more efficient way to cultivate this flavorful herb? Welcome to the world of soil-free gardening. This comprehensive guide will explore two popular methods for growing coriander without soil hydroponics and aeroponics. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting your green journey, this guide will provide you with the knowledge and confidence to grow thriving coriander plants right in your home, year-round. Get ready to enjoy fresh, organic coriander straight from your indoor garden. Imagine snipping fresh coriander leaves directly from your kitchen counter moments before adding them to your favorite salsa or curry. No more trips to the grocery store for wilted herbs. With hydroponics and aeroponics you can enjoy fresh, flavorful coriander year-round, regardless of your climate or available outdoor space. Hydroponics and aeroponics are innovative methods of growing plants without soil. Instead of relying on soil for nutrients, these methods deliver essential nutrients directly to the plant's roots using water-based solutions. In hydroponics, plants are grown in inert growing media like cocoa coir, perlite, or clay pebbles, which are constantly supplied with nutrient-rich water. This method ensures the plant's roots have access to a consistent supply of water, oxygen, and nutrients, leading to faster growth and higher yields. Aeroponics takes soil-free gardening a step further. In this method, plant roots are suspended in the air and periodically misted with a fine nutrient solution. This technique maximizes oxygen availability to the roots, promoting even faster growth and healthier plants. Before you embark on your soil-free coriander growing journey, let's gather the necessary supplies. The good news is that most of these items are readily available online or at your local gardening store. For both hydroponic and aeroponic systems you'll need asterisk coriander seeds, growing containers such as mason jars, plastic tubs, or specialized hydroponic systems, growing medium for hydroponics, cocoa coir, perlite, or clay pebbles, air pump for aeroponics, air stones for aeroponics asterisk nutrient solution, pH meter or test kit, measuring cups and spoons, grow lights, optional but recommended for optimal growth. While the initial investment in setting up a hydroponic or aeroponic system may seem higher than traditional gardening, the long-term benefits and cost savings, such as reduced water usage and the elimination of pesticides, make these methods a worthwhile investment for any coriander enthusiast. Coriander seeds, also known as coriander seeds, are relatively easy to germinate. Follow these simple steps to give your coriander seeds a head start. 1. Soak your coriander seeds in a cup of water for 12 to 24 hours. This helps soften the seed coat and encourages faster germination. 2. Prepare by filling a seed starting tray or small pots with a seed starting mix. Moisten the mix thoroughly. 3. Sow the soaked coriander seeds about half an inch deep into the moistened starting mix. 4. Mist the seeds gently with water and cover the tray or pots with a humidity dome or plastic wrap to create a warm, humid environment. 5. Place the seed starting tray in a warm, well-lit location, but out of direct sunlight. Coriander seeds typically germinate within 7 to 10 days. Once the seedlings have developed a few sets of true leaves and are about 2 to 3 inches tall, they are ready to be transplanted into your hydroponic or aeroponic system. Section 5. Hydroponic Setup Guide Setting up a hydroponic system for your coriander is easier than you might think. With a few simple steps you can have fresh coriander growing in no time. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to get you started. Follow these instructions carefully to ensure a successful setup. First, choose a suitable container for your hydroponic system. The container will serve as the foundation for your plants. This could be a simple mason jar, a plastic tub, or any other container that can hold water and support your plants. Or even a dedicated hydroponic system purchased online or at a gardening store. These systems are designed specifically for hydroponic gardening and can make the process even easier. Next, fill your chosen container with your selected growing medium. The growing medium will provide support and nutrients to your plants. Cocoa coir and perlite are popular choices for coriander. These materials are lightweight, retain moisture well, and provide good aeration for the roots. Are popular choices for coriander. They help create an ideal environment for the roots to grow. Then gently remove the coriander seedlings from the seed starting tray being careful not to damage the delicate roots. Handle the seedlings with care to avoid any stress, being careful not to damage the delicate roots. The roots are crucial for the plant's uptake of water and nutrients. Make small holes in your growing medium. These holes will be where you place the seedlings. And carefully transplant the seedlings. Ensure the roots are well covered and the seedlings are stable. 
After that, fill your hydroponic system's reservoir with water. The water will be the primary source of hydration for your plants, and add the recommended amount of nutrient solution. This solution contains essential nutrients that your coriander needs to grow. Coriander prefers a slightly acidic to neutral pH, around 6.0 to 7.0. Maintaining the correct pH is crucial for nutrient uptake, around 6.0 to 7.0. Regular monitoring will help you keep the pH within this range. Use a pH meter or test kit to adjust the pH level accordingly. This ensures that your plants can absorb nutrients efficiently. Now place your hydroponic system in a well-lit location, or use grow lights to provide sufficient light for your coriander plants. Light is essential for photosynthesis and healthy growth, or use grow lights to provide sufficient light for your coriander plants. Ensure they receive at least 12-16 hours of light daily. Remember to monitor the water level in your hydroponic system regularly. Keeping the water level consistent is key to healthy plant growth, and replenish the nutrient solution every one to two weeks. This ensures that your plants always have access to the nutrients they need. Regularly check the pH level of the nutrient solution to ensure it remains within the optimal range for coriander growth. Consistent pH levels are vital for nutrient absorption, to ensure it remains within the optimal range for coriander growth. With proper care and attention, your hydroponic coriander will thrive and provide you with fresh herbs year-round. Section 6. Aeroponics Setup Guide Aeroponics offers an exciting and efficient way to grow coriander. This method uses a nutrient-rich mist to feed the plants, allowing for faster growth and higher yields compared to traditional soil gardening. Here's how to set up your aeroponic system. Follow these steps carefully to ensure your coriander plants thrive. First, choose a suitable container for your aeroponic system. The container should be large enough to hold the nutrient solution and allow space for the roots to hang freely. A dark-colored container is ideal to prevent algae growth. Algae can compete with your plants for nutrients and light, so it's important to minimize its presence. Next, set up your air pump and connect it to the air stones inside your container. The air pump will help oxygenate the nutrient solution, which is crucial for healthy root development. The air stones will create a fine mist of nutrient solution that will nourish your coriander plants. This misting action ensures that the roots receive a constant supply of nutrients and oxygen. Gently remove the coriander seedlings from the seed starting tray and carefully insert them into the designated openings in your aeroponic system. Be sure to handle the seedlings with care to avoid damaging the delicate roots. Make sure the roots are hanging freely and can be reached by the nutrient mist. Proper root exposure is key to the success of your aeroponic system. Fill your aeroponic system's reservoir with water and add the recommended amount of nutrient solution. The nutrient solution should be specifically formulated for aeroponic or hydroponic systems. Coriander prefers a slightly acidic to neutral pH, around 6 to 7. Maintaining the correct pH level is essential for nutrient uptake. Use a pH meter or test kit to adjust the pH level. Regularly check and adjust the pH to keep it within the optimal range for coriander. Set your timer to mist the coriander roots for a few seconds every few minutes. This ensures that the roots remain moist and well-fed without becoming waterlogged. The exact misting cycle will depend on your specific aeroponic system and environmental conditions. Adjust the timing based on the needs of your plants and the humidity levels in your growing area. Observe your plants closely to determine the optimal misting schedule. Regular monitoring will help you make any necessary adjustments to keep your plants healthy. Aeroponic systems require a bit more attention than hydroponic systems, but the rewards are often worth it, with faster growth and higher yields. The effort you put into maintaining your aeroponic system will be reflected in the health and productivity of your plants. Monitor the misting system closely and ensure the nutrient solution is being delivered effectively to the plant roots. Consistent care and attention will lead to a successful and bountiful coriander harvest. Section 7. Feeding Your Coriander Proper nutrition is key to growing healthy and flavorful coriander, whether you're using a hydroponic or aeroponic system. Choose a high-quality nutrient solution specifically formulated for herbs or leafy greens. Look for a balanced NPK ratio with slightly higher nitrogen levels to promote leafy growth. When mixing your nutrient solution, always follow the manufacturer's instructions for the correct dosage. Over-fertilizing can damage your plants, while under-fertilizing can lead to nutrient deficiencies and stunted growth. Remember to monitor the pH level of your nutrient solution regularly and adjust it as needed to maintain the optimal range for coriander growth. Section 8. Troubleshooting your coriander. Even with the best care, problems can occasionally arise when growing coriander hydroponically or aeroponically. Understanding these issues and knowing how to address them can make a significant difference in the health and yield of your plants. Here are some common issues and their solutions. 
By being proactive, you can ensure your coriander thrives. Yellowing leaves could indicate a nutrient deficiency, especially nitrogen. This is a common issue that can be easily rectified with the right approach. Increase the strength of your nutrient solution, or adjust the NPK ratio. Ensuring the right balance of nutrients is crucial for healthy plant growth. Slow growth can be caused by insufficient lighting, low temperatures, or a nutrient imbalance. Identifying the root cause is the first step to solving the problem. Ensure your plants are receiving adequate light, maintain a consistent temperature, and check the nutrient solution regularly. Consistency is key in hydroponic gardening. Root rot can result from overwatering or poor drainage. This can severely affect the health of your plants if not addressed promptly. Ensure your hydroponic system has proper drainage and avoid overwatering. Proper water management is essential for preventing root diseases. In aeroponic systems, ensure the roots are not constantly submerged in the nutrient solution. This can lead to oxygen deprivation and root decay. Algae growth can occur if the nutrient solution is exposed to too much light. This can compete with your plants for nutrients. Use a dark-colored container for your hydroponic or aeroponic system and avoid placing it in direct sunlight. This helps in minimizing algae growth. Regularly inspecting your coriander plants for any signs of pests or diseases is essential. Early detection can save your entire crop. Early detection and treatment are crucial for preventing the spread of any issues and ensuring the health of your plants. By staying vigilant, you can enjoy a bountiful harvest of coriander. Section 9. Harvest and Enjoy One of the most rewarding aspects of growing your own coriander is harvesting and enjoying the fruits, or rather, leaves of your labor. Once your coriander plants have reached a height of 6 to 8 inches and have bushy foliage, you can begin harvesting. Using a clean pair of scissors or pruning shears, snip off the outer stems just above a leaf node. This encourages bushier growth and ensures a continuous supply of fresh coriander. Freshly harvested coriander leaves are best enjoyed immediately. Add them to your favorite salsas, guacamole, curries, or soups for a burst of fresh, zesty flavor. If you have an abundance of coriander, you can store it in the refrigerator for up to a week. Wrap the stems in a damp paper towel and store them in a sealed plastic bag to maintain freshness.